Welcome to 3 Minute Art History. I'm Mead McLean for uh, AUSquared.com. Today's lesson is on Austin Osman Spare. Um, as best I can figure, Austin Osman Spare was the very first surrealist. Um, the word surrealism didn't exist when he was starting out, but he was already doing uh, work that dealt with the same subjects in a very similar way. I don't think that he gets grouped with them typically uh, because he was and is too weird to be a surrealist. Um, he started out going to the Royal College of Art in the UK and his dad submitted a couple of his early works to the uh, Royal Academy Summer Show which gave him some early notoriety. At a young age he met a witch who introduced him to a very personal style of magic um, which he developed into chaos magic where a practitioner would write a statement of intent down. Um, it would then be converted into a sigil or image. Um, then the practitioner would meditate until the mind silences uh, while focusing on the sigil, then destroy the sigil, forgetting it afterwards. And then supposedly whatever the statement of intent uh, was would actually happen. His most developed images are his uh, sidereal portraits. Um, he would take printed images of celebrities, look at them at an angle, and then paint them on this angle. Uh, the effect is as if, as if they were pulled and distorted, uh, yet they retained the dimensionality that he was able to create with his realistic um, academic training. Um, during World War I, he was assigned to draw images of the battlefields. Uh, having survived that, he came back to the UK where he lived a modest to poor existence, um, keeping open house in his flat and selling drawings for as little as uh, two pounds. He published a text called Automatic Drawing in 1916, but he was doing automatic drawings uh, as early as 1900. This technique was either picked up or discovered independently by the Surrealists a bit later. Andre Breton uh, published the first Manifesto of Surrealism in 1924, so that's quite a bit later than, uh, than Austin Spare's automatic drawing. Um, and in 1924, Breton mentions automatic writing as a corollary to this. Um, the idea of the technique is to turn off one's conscious mind um, allowing the hand to draw freely without any influence as the marks are made certain images appear and uh, are then developed into more polished uh, images of figures. Spare often wrote of um, waking up at night with his hand moving over his sketchbook drawing while asleep. Uh, perhaps even for hours he'd wake up with, with ten complete drawings um, that he didn't even remember doing. So. Uh, Spare certainly deserves some attention, particularly if you're interested in the occult, surrealism, or in experimental music. He's been a big influence on artists such as Throbbing Gristle, uh, Coil, Psyche TV, um, Val Denham, and Genesis P. Orridge. Uh, my name is Mead McLean, and this has been three minutes of art history. Thank you.